In this video, we're going to take a look at uh, creating uh, subflows in Node-RED. Now, a subflow is a collection of connecting nodes that you can use as a single unit, just like you use a node. And it's a way of packaging functionality from several nodes into a single node. Now, you can create subflows in two ways. You can use a, an empty subflow and you can select nodes from an existing flow. And I'll show you both ways of doing it in this video. And if you want more information on subflows, you can have a look at this GitHub page here, and it tells you the difference between uh, a node and a, an actual subflow. So let's go and have a look at uh, subflows and how we create them. So here we are, Node Red, and I've got a very simple flow here. This takes um, a BBC MQTT feed and it feeds it into a filter here, which filters the topic and it uses the topic name to create the file name and it stores the data in a, in a file name based on the, on the topic name. Uh, that's not particularly important for this video. What I'm going to do is package the functionality provided by this node and this node into a single unit and that's going to be a subflow. Now I've already created a subflow. You can see they appear over here under subflows and you just can just drag those and drag them onto the flow just like you do a normal node and you can use it just like you do a, a normal node. Now, let's say there's two methods of creating subflows and I'm going to show you both methods. So if we just click on that one and use the control key to click on that one. Now I've selected both nodes and now I'm going to combine them into a subflow. So I click here and subflows. Now I can create a subflow that creates a blank subflow or I can selection to subflow which, and this is the one I want it's going to take the two nodes I've highlighted I'm going to put them together into a subflow so I click on that and you can see it's called subflow 2 now I can edit that subflow and change the name of it to make it more meaningful and I'll call it top filter and store I just want to create a, a blank subflow or create a subflow from a, a blank page so this time we go again here and subflows and we just create a subflow and this gives us a, a subflow page and then I can just add nodes into this a function node and we add a file node there wire them together and this is a subflow 3 now I'm not going to edit the function or I'm not going to edit the file node I just want to illustrate how we create the subflow so that's created a subflow uh, using a, a blank page. So once you've got the subflows, you can manage them just more or less like you do the nodes. So let's have a look at that. So if I double click on this subflow here, subflow two, it opens up and it shows me the nodes that are actually in that flow. And I can edit the properties of the subflow and I can give it a name and this time I'll spell it right as well and a description so there's a description so done and you can see here it's changed the name here and if I want to delete it I can delete the subflow from here so let's close that and let's go back to our original one now I'm going to delete the subflow from this flow here and then I'm going to drag the subflow that was the original subflow back in there and just wire it up and so we're back to the the beginning so you can see we can just use subflows just like we use normal nodes they're very very similar to normal nodes except the subflow contains a collection of wired nodes you can also edit the the subflow change the the subflow by double clicking on it where it appears in in a flow and click edit the flow template and any changes you make here will affect this uh, subflow wherever it appears in the actual flow itself. So if you add this on in multiple flows, making an edit here would actually change this subflow in all of those other flows. So you have to be very careful when doing this, is that if you make a change here, it affects any flow that's actually using the, this subflow, not just the one you're, you're currently working on. Okay, that's it. Uh, a quick introduction to subflows on Node-RED and, and how to create them and how to, how to use them. If you've got any comments on the video, then please leave them below. If you like the video, then 
use the like button below and if you want to get notified of new videos on the channel then you can always subscribe and if you do use social media and like to share this video then feel free until next time goodbye